Okay there. Hey everybody. It's me, the ISFP. Uh, let's see. I was gonna do I was gonna do a vlog for you on using my webcam setup, but I want to do more intimate style. You know, now I'm in my car. You're with me driving in my car. <laughs> no. Um, so I just want to do a video about the ISFP thought processes. You know what it's like for me as an ISFP. My thought processes through the day. And I'll try to make it really quick. So every day that I get up, you know, well, every afternoon, um, you know, I don't really have a definite plan for what I'm going to do. I don't have a set agenda. I do have sort of objectives that I want to get finished for the day. But that can change depending on my mood. That's why I never try to plan ahead because every time I try to plan ahead something, I end up never doing it. That's why a lot of projects get scrapped and such. Oh no, my battery's low. Okay, I'll try to hurry up. Okay, uh, my camera wants me to get up, you know, done with it. Uh, so um, the problem is, you know, I don't really have a set plan, but I know I have to have something to do. Like something's pressing on my heart that I have to do. Well, not a myocardial infarction, <laughs> mind you, but something on my mind, you know, that, okay, I have to finish this because I really need to do that. Usually something uh, having to do with my, you know, taking care of somebody or paying a bill or something because I know that if I don't do it I'm gonna end up like always like I'm late I'm usually late for everything I'm late for work I'm late for payments because I'm never thinking about well I'm just thinking about okay what do I have to do today I'm not worried about tomorrow although I do go back to yesterday quite frequently I stroll down memory lane and I can get stuck there if I, but for me everything is like I'm just uh, I do have a very vague routine, so I get up, I, you know, get myself groomed, and I take a shower and have my meal, my breakfast, and then I try to sort of, uh, you know, right now I'm finishing up a, a, a course for school, so I'm in, doing, do a little study, but I don't spend much time on it. When it comes to going to work, I get very anxious, because I think, am I going to be late again? I don't want to, I don't want to deal with conflict at work, you know, when they're always late, and I'm running late. So I have to get, uh, I made it a point, it goes against my nature, but I made a point to get ready early for work. So, oh my goodness, yesterday they made me clean the bathrooms, even the ladies' restroom where women go to the bathroom. <laughs> Thought, is this the Lord punishing me again? But I digress. So I go to work, and at work I'm sort of there, half not there, I'm usually daydreaming. Now, one of the things I do like about the cleaning is I get to be off by myself, away from people. When around people, I get energized for a while. And then I was like, okay, I've had enough. I need to be by myself again. <laughs> That's just how it is in, in general. So if I'm at a party or something, um, I try, I like to talk to people. I'm not shy, really, but I talk to some people and it's like, okay, I've got my fill. I want my food. Let's go. Don't want to be there too long because I feel like there's other things I got to do. Um, so when it comes to long-term projects, I don't think that much ahead. When they ask me on a job application, where do you see yourself in five years? I mean, I don't see myself in five days, let alone five years. I don't know where I'm going to be. Uh, it's just sort of that thing where you just don't know, and you're just going to go with the flow of life. Right now, of course, in school, I run into a whole lot of problems because um, I'm terrible at math, great at all my other subjects, but terrible at math. I have an I have an A minus right now in biology, if you can believe that. Um, of course, I haven't taken the final yet, so we'll see. But because I'm bad at math, I'm two courses away. But the two math courses that I flunked, well, I didn't. I got a D in them. It's not good enough to transfer, and it's not even good enough to get your associate's degree. You have to get a C or better, apparently, or it won't count. Now, what happened to the good old, you know? gentleman D or something. I don't know. So I talked to a whole bunch of guidance counselors. It's all screwed up. Now I don't know, know if I want to go to seminary. I don't know if I want to go to uh, South University. I don't know if I want to go to Regent University, Liberty. I don't know if it's, I just want to finish that associate's degree. That's all I want to do, get it done. And I had no idea I would go for all this. If I had known this would happen, I wouldn't even bothered with it because I hate all this, you know, rigmarole. But now I don't know what I want to do because, hey, I'm not 19, I'm 42, so it's not like, uh, well, I have 
I still have a good chunk of my life ahead of me, but I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't have any plan. I really don't. And I don't know what to do with all this education because uh, it's all confusing now. It threw me off, and I don't want to deal with it. This is my thought, you know, my thoughts going around and around. So, the ISFP thought processes, does that help you understand the ISFP, the mind of an ISFP? Granted, you're just talking to me, so I'm not like every ISFP out there. But I think that in my mind, it's basically, uh, what can I do today, but I don't really care about tomorrow as much. Sometimes I wander in the past, and I'll tell you another thing. I get very much, everything for me is big, big, big. So... When I hear a song, it, it really, like, it's very intense. It's very intense for me. And one time I heard uh, some song by Beethoven, I can't remember. I had tears streaming down my face. And I can listen to a song over and over and over and over and over again. And parts of a song over and over and over again. Because it's just like, oh, wow, it's, it's like the perfect uh, synchrony. You know, perfect synchrony. Oh, and another thing I do love, I do love serendipity, where everything just flows. Like, sometimes I'll be doing a vlog like this one, just off the top of my head, and all of a sudden it will just come together like liquid in a stream. Other times, like, it won't go together very well. Uh, so that's about, that's all I can think about now for the ISFP thought process. And I think that, you know, if you talk to a lot of ISFPs, you'll find that really it's like in the moment, but... There's, there's so much going on, sensual, you know, sensory processing that can be... I got sensory overload at work because I got... Uh, but I hate using the scrubbing machines at work. That's one of the things I hate because... No, actually, I don't mind that. I just hate cleaning the bathrooms. I'm sorry, but that's just a little low for me, even for me, you know. Now, I'm sure there's other people who are very good at cleaning restrooms, but... It's just not my forte. <laughs> um, but I think the Lord is humbling me. The Lord is humbling me to get me to accept doing things I don't like to do. And by the way, this job is really to pay off my debt. Once I once I'm pay off my debt, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. I'm going to look for another job because I can't do this. You know, I can't clean restrooms and, and you know, sack groceries for the rest of my life. I have a purpose and a calling, and that is music. You know, and, and have a bit, I'm sorry, I'm not, whoops, did I just say something bad? Okay, see, that's the devil punishing me. Every time I say what my calling is, Satan always tries to do something to me. Okay, so, sorry, Satan, sorry that I'm not a satanic rapper, okay, <laughs> causing panic uh, at the disco. But, okay, folks, hope you all enjoyed that, just the thought processes of the of an ISFP like me, leave a comment below if you're an ISFP or someone else and what you think. Uh, thank you so much. Go to my website at meetskeltonsplace.com. And remember, folks, say a prayer for someone special today. Bye.